everyone. Um, I'm gonna continue my IBM Guardian version 11.2 lab. In today's lab, I'm gonna install Jim on my Windows 2016 database server. As you can see from my topology, I have 192 and 68.2.14 installed uh, my standard ROM Guardian server. And 192 and 68.2.15 is my Windows 2016 server installed the two databases, MySQL and MSQL. This is IBM Guardian GUI interface. So for us to install Jim, we have to go to IBM Fix Center. So we're gonna find out the version 11.0 zero which is already latest one and the uh, platform is windows we can uh, browse for all fixes so we can tell this uh, s tab and there's a uh, gym windows we're gonna do gym So we're going to download it, it's 900 megabytes, quite big size. It's going to take a while, I'm going to pause my video and once it's done, I'm going to copy it to my virtual machine, Windows 2016 database server and start into the installation. Download has been completed and I also copied the file into my Windows 2016 database server. It's a zip file. Let's extract it. So we got the gym installer and the gym kits folder. We're gonna continue to unzip this installer file. So we will get the uh, setup.exe file under the gym installer folder. You can double click or right click run as administrator. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Next. Typical installation. So standard mode, so we have our uh, gym server, which is our collector, uh, 192.168.2.14, that's a uh, standard mode. You also can put it into listener mode and then activate it later through our collector or central manager. So in here, I'm putting into the standard mode since I already have my correct IP. Um, the local IP is 192.168.2.15. Next. finished. We can check the service origin. The service has been started and it's running IBM Security Guardian Installation Manager, which is our gene. We also can go back to our IBM Guardian GUI to check the installation status. Go to Manager, Module Installation, Gym Processes Monitor, 
as you can see, the server, window 2016, I'm a SQL server, and my SQL server, IP 192.160.2.15, has more gym module being installed, and status screen. To continue installing our S tab module through the gym, we can go to manage, modular installation, upload the modules. So in here, we can, if we already download as tab module, then we can upload here and then push to our database server. So let's go to download our as tab. Four hundred thirty-two megabytes, which gonna take two minutes. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, the S tab has been downloaded. Let's show it in our folder. It's S tab Windows. Let's uh, unzip it. You can see this uh, zip file, but that's not for Jim to import. That's the uh, basically installation file. So you can install it directly on your database server. But we are not using this mode. We're gonna import it Jim, import it into Jim, and then push it over there. So you see this Jim file. We gonna. Go to download folder. There's a S tab folder and Jim kit. Look at this Jim file. We're gonna import it. Upload. The bundle was successfully uploaded. Do you want to import the bundle now? Import now. You can see it has been successfully imported. Then we can deploy it to our target server, database server. Go to manage. You can go to setup by client. And we can do next. So we choose the bundle, window as tab, we choose parameters, we have the, we, there's no required parameters. So you can see all parameters are here, actually you can define the folder you want to install. But if you don't want to define the folder, you can just pick a default folder and next. And then we do installation here and deploy right now. Okay. So install has been submit for Windows as tab 11.1 on one kind. You can see there's a show status link here. Um, it's pending install. You can refresh it to see the status. It's on IP status. Refresh it, still on IP. Refresh it, now it shows installed. Now we're gonna check the status of as tab service. You can search as tab. So this as tab control here. 
So it's under the manager activity monitoring as tab control. Click this. 